Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles X. This can be a weird episode, but we'll see how it goes. Now, first of all, we accepted doing a mission uh, last time. So basically, I had to get some uh, certain equipment from uh, this place. Certain general type of equipment. Doesn't have to be anything too specific. Decided to buy very expensive ones. Just in case, uh, getting better equipment actually changes what happens in the quest. I do know for a fact that there's some interesting th changes that can happen in quests depending on your choices. But I have no idea if this is one of them. Go back to Mia here. Hey. So yes, we got got you the equipment. Iron blades done. And then combat body. I'm the chief now, okay. I'll take it. Did the thing and now she's gone. Doing whatever she wants to do. That is cool. Unless she dies, that would suck. What should we do next? Suppose we'll head to a different part of the district. Kind of fun to just watch this giant scale just slowly approaching. Take uh, past that. Well. What I'm trying to do... Well, I guess figure out what to do next. But yes, for next mission we're gonna go to Eleanor and try to figure out what blade levels are about. Because normal leveling isn't enough. We need an entirely different type of leveling system on top of it. Apparently. Okay. This is a different type of mission. It's not relevant. Wow. Yep, I've already increased blade level. Now she'll give you a bonus. And he'll give stuff like this. Now you have a hollow figure projector added to the blade barracks. Which allows you to customize it. Which is that an interesting thing to add. Now 
Now we can be an interior designer. Which will also increase one of our field, uh, one of our uh, other skills in the field. Which skill? Now as for which one I'll be choosing, I'll be boring for now and go for mechanical. This right now just changes what type of uh, things you can find in the field. When you do treasure mashing, basically. And we complete the mission just by doing that. Great. Well, obviously, upgrading the mechanical one simply upgrades what type of machines you can uh, find treasure. Because they have a lay. Machines do have a lay level, and there are other things in the game that the other two skills will be used for when we upgrade them. And I believe our next mission could be heading out here and finally, finally doing the mission where we destroy those goddamn insects. I'm not entirely sure why I left this here, but it is just nice to just watch. It's just such a gorgeous game. You just look at the background, look at yourself compared to everything, look how large everything is, look at the places you can go, look at all the people and the scales around. It's just a great sight. And I guess, obviously, I was just waiting to check out the map to be able to warp somewhere. Yeah, I warped right here, right so we can get outside quickly. And now that we're in Primordia, I can warp to different areas if I wish. Though I think I might be doing something before I warp to uh, West Primordia in order to do that mission. You gotta be kidding. And a segment of Primordia has been upgraded. Uh, updated. Thank you, random NPC. And there's Ryan here. Random is just, I believe, a random player character that you can just recruit. You can literally just invite him to your party. Now, I'm not going to be doing much of that, though. Not anytime soon, at least. So yeah, the funny thing is that I assume that I have to be in Primordia to warp to somewhere in Primordia. That's not true. And I eventually figure that out. And there, here's where the bad stuff comes up. Uh, you might notice that I, this mission is now cleared suddenly. And is that one. Where we had to do the probes.
yeah. Done a lot of exploring because, unfortunately, the original recording where I did all this is now gone. It's entirely corrupted. And idiotically, I saved it before checking out the recording. Thankfully, I didn't do anything story relevant. The only relevance is probes. Like, you can have different probes, and they're like. They can do different things. For example, like, you can, like. Combo them if you have a bunch close to each other that connect on the map. They're the closest ones to each other, at least, uh. And you use a certain type of probe that you can eventually buy, though you get some for free. You get different things, like some you get research, which does a thing, I'm not entirely sure what. I will tell you at some point. Most obvious one is a Meranium one, which gives, is how you get Meranium. By equipping the Meranium probe. And it gives you some. And obviously the combo with all the same types gives you a lot more. Once you install probe, you can switch which probe you use at any time. So that's helpful. And you don't even have to be near, you can just use the map. That is all cool. But that's all I'm gonna say because that's all there is to it basically. I wanna say research helps discoveries or there's little or those like little factoids that helps you get completion on a map, but I'm not sure. Regardless. Because for now, we'll just explore Primordia, because really, uh... This is in fact what I did. I just explored the place a ton and went and saw those things, and... That's... Basically, and I did that quick mission where I beat, destroyed those bugs with the right weapon. Literally all that happened is I beat those bugs with the, white, the right weapon, and then I won the quest. Literally nothing else to it. However, from the missions I still have, it's also this one, Sweet Sweep. And these are just random missions. They have no relevance to anything. They're basically randomly generated, I think. Just get them on the random below to board and do random missions and... I don't think it's even relevant to 100% completion. Alright, one of them is to defeat enough sweets. Sweets, whatever these are, uh, specific ones that have the explanation points on their heads. Apparently ones that are getting in the way of the probes. So we're just gonna take them out so they can't get in the way of our fights. Simple as that. I'm not sure that I complete the mission in this part, but I at least, at least defeat another one here. At least we're gonna fight this one as well. I'm very sorry if I explained that right, that when the icon glows, that's when you sh that's when it's at its most effective. So it can change super rapidly, depending on what you're doing. I don't think I've properly figured it out yet. Give the call at least one more sweet. <laughs> no, I just realized how funny that sounds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, but that just makes you think of <laughs> just pain. 
like the sweetest people. Uh, that would that would be funny. But no, no. I did eventually find a new place, at least. Talon Rock, 2nd Terrence. Talon Rock is a major area of this, uh, continent. So it's not surprising it gets multiple little, uh, areas to itself. Very dangerous enemy over there. Oh god, what? Something, fellow 44, lowest Grox just... Grox found us. I'm, I died in one hit. That is the danger, is that the high level enemies can't just find and kill you. No problem. Oh well. God, this game is amazing looking. Like, literally, I just stopped it and got spawned in a random place and just looking, just staring at. The first thing I say, it's just like super impressive. Like, just look at that. Anyway, gives you a general idea of where I explored last time. But now the main area explored was this little area. It's still in Primordia. It's fairly north of NLA. It's sort of swamp-like area. There's also a cave around here. I just explore this place for a little bit, though at night I realized a lot tougher enemies here. And one's more likely to attack me. So let's maybe not stick around. Okay, we're out of the area now. Anyway, now that we went to there, where else can we re-explore? Not entirely sure. I explored that beach area down there a little bit, I think. Now while I'm here, I might as well maybe try to do something with Primordia Trailblazing 3, which is the last of these, basically the last of these little missions I have to do. One of the last things I have to do before I'm even, before I'm allowed to do uh, Chapter 4, I believe. There are a certain amount of things you do have to do in order to start the next chapter after all. And these missions are a big chunk of that. 
we'll get into a bit later what the other thing, the other main thing we have to do is. I think we also have to be at a decent enough level, I guess. For now, I might have already explored this place a little bit. <laughs> it's directly north now. It's You see these uh, crystals? That's the sort of uh, thing that... Sort of material that hardened when they uh, crashed into the planet. Basically worked as sort of an airbag, I suppose. And like that whole, all these crystals are just that. Just part of this colony. Though right now, I genuinely, I can't remember how much... I can't remember if uh, going over here is new for this recording. Or if I'm re and redoing anything from uh, previous ones. I know I do at least one or two things over here that I didn't do before. But, you know, the file is corrupt, so I have no idea what's going on, even. It's very unfortunate. I just will say, while we're just exploring this area, this... This might sum up why I love this series. Just purely exploring for the sake of exploring. Like, half the stuff is just rocks. Just rocks on a hill. I mean, there's cool stuff surrounding it. Some of the rock structures are interesting. There's all these enemies and stuff. There's a lake. But in theory, it's not like the most interesting video gamey thing. But it's the type of thing I enjoy. I can't be the only one who was a kid, which is like, just find random rocks, like near my place, like, just climb it. Like, pretend I have some sort of venture with it somehow. I don't know. There's always something I appreciated. I always appreciate any game that just lets let you explore, even if it doesn't mean anything. So just running around this place, just seeing where it goes to, going to the next structure, going down this slow thing, little waterfall. So cool. The fact that it's surrounded by all this cool stuff is what makes it, of course, but I just enjoy that. I just enjoy this. Listen. Hey. You did that backwards, guys. It's, hey, listen, not, listen, hey. Anyway, this is a Nori area, so there's at least that. Listen. Kind of indecisive if I want to go this way yet. Because there are some notably tougher enemies if you go this way. It's pretty dangerous. There's like a level 33 enemy right there. Level 40 right there. Ugh, don't want to deal with that. I tried to do a planetary pioneer. But I think the main part of this mission is literally just 
explore Primordia a lot. I think. No, actually, never mind. <laughs> this is one of those missions where the other mission I was doing was part of this mission. That's such weird design to do that. Because you can still set this mission, but it's entirely pointless to do so. But yeah, that's all of what I did during that recording, and then some. So, let's back to, head back to NLA. Try to accomplish something else. This was really obnoxious when I didn't realize you could warp to wherever. <laughs> it's like it involved a lot more running than I felt was necessary. I am glad that was just me not having a clue. Because that would have been really annoying. Anyway, back at. back to the blade base. Oh, good day. Shulk? Um. <laughs> if someone made their character too. Vaguely kind of look like Shulk. How funny. So Shulk can join the party, I guess. Anyway... Maybe I'll check back into play... Headquarters next time. Yeah, I guess we can do that next time. See you later.